My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of The Wrestler and I've heard amazing things about this movie so I was really hoping to like it and thankfully I loved it. Uh, this movie is just um, brilliant and heartbreaking and just a fantastic movie. Uh, let's begin talking about the performances. Because this is Mickey Walk's best performance ever. He is incredible here. He just brings so much humanity to this character and his emotional range is just top notch and like I've never seen him on this level. Uh, just incredible work by him. Uh, you've also got Marissa Tomei who I think gives one of her best performances. Uh, she's also really great here and um. She brought a lot of depth to her character. And then we've also got Evan Rachel Wood, who I haven't seen in much. But I also thought she gave a great performance. Uh, she's... In the short time she's in this movie, she does everything she needs to. She sells you on everything she needs to. And she just gives this movie so much heart and soul and um, really impressed with her work here. So the entire cast does a really fantastic job. And one thing I find interesting about this movie is that it's the complete inverse of The Whale. Like the two movies have lots of similarities where you've got a protagonist who's flawed and taking part in self-destructive actions trying to reconnect with his daughter. So very similar, but his approach to the two movies couldn't be more different. Like, I hated the whale, and this movie, I feel like he holds the main character accountable, and it looks down on his self-destructive actions, while the whale, I feel like, looks up to this self-destructive character, and it doesn't hold him accountable and it's just so weird that you've got two sides of the same coin here. Just, I, I, I kind of want to watch some back to back and study them but I feel like this movie makes every right decision and I think this movie tackles self-destructive tendencies incredibly well. It looks at accountability and aging and dealing with the ramifications of a lifetime of bad decisions but I feel like most importantly this movie is about personal growth and trying to change and whether you're capable of doing such a thing and I think these ideas are very fascinating and the movie explores them in such a thoughtful fully realized manner and like this movie just hits those emotional beats the way this movie ends just kind of broke me. Like, I just felt the weight of this ending so much. And um, the script is just incredible here. Um, filled with nuance. Filled with thematic depths. And it's also incredibly well directed by Darren Aronofsky. Like, this movie can be brutal when it needs to be. And I love the way he plays around with sound in moments, especially one moment where he's starting a shift at a supermarket. And what he does there, I thought was just exceptional. There's also one scene where he's cutting meat and the way that scene builds to was just so masterful. And um, I also think this movie's incredibly well shot. Um... Yeah, so like cast-wise, writing-wise, directing-wise, this movie's pretty top-notch. Um, if I had any complaints, this movie isn't that long. It's only like an hour and 45 minutes, but I could still feel it drag every now and again. It can feel a little Oscar Beatty at times, but uh, that's a nitpick, really. I feel like this movie just excels at everything it's trying to do. I think it's emotional. I think it... Um, 
looks at this character in such an honest, nuanced way. I thought um, it was just brilliantly written, directed, acted. Uh, I loved this movie. I'm going to go ahead and give The Wrestler an 8.5 out of 10. This would be one of the best sports movies I've ever seen. But um, have you seen The Wrestler? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin out.